In this video, we're going to configure the Threat Grid integration with SecureX. To start, I'm going to find the Threat Grid module on the left hand pane and click Add. The only thing it really needs to integrate is an API key. I'm going to swing over to my Threat Grid dashboard to, to copy that key. Oh, the other thing I want to point out is that I have my Cisco Threat Response modules open in a new tab, and notice that the Threat Grid module is not showing as active here. In ThreatGrid, I'll click on my name in the upper right hand corner and then click My Account. From here, I'll just copy the API key right out of this, and then I'll go back to my SecureX configuration. And then I'll paste the key right into the ThreatGrid module and click Save. This will enable the module and completely integrate it. Going back to my Open Cisco Threat Response tab, if I refresh a page now, it should appear that I have an active module for ThreatGrid. Let's go back to the SecureX dashboard, and I'll create a new dashboard for the Threat Grid tiles. Since my Threat Grid is pretty busy, we should see some good details here. I'll go ahead and just add all the tiles. Notice I can filter a lot of these tiles and change the display time as well, so I can get a lot of really rich information. Let's go ahead and resize these tiles to make the dashboard a little cleaner and prettier. I'll go ahead and speed up this part of the video because it usually takes me about a minute or so to do so and I don't really want you guys to have to watch that. Now I have a nice ThreatGrid dashboard in my SecureX instance and that completes my initial configuration. Thank you so much for watching this video.